I started playing yeah, quickly, lads. Uh, I don't know if to, uh, I don't know what to do actually about obviously uh, the live like, streams from now on. All the live streams are is the physical link, uh, Singapore as well as this. So those get the bandwidth needed to actually do a live stream that's seamlessly just like inter that interaction and interrupting with the uh, dropping down connection. It's, it's a massive issue. So uh, yeah, I can't do both at the moment. Live stream is kind of like basically saying this is, this is who I am, this is my life. And uh, obviously uh, you can't fake it. It's like when you go live, you are live. Um, unless you've got a lot of technology behind you, um, a lot of what you see is, is real. So uh, you can't take it if you have the team behind you and you have thousands of pounds of, 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 of kit that can do uh, what water removing out different colours and let's say different obviously graphics and uh, you can also replay and obviously let's say for gene, you know, morphing um, people and content together. Uh, you cannot do that in real real time, hence why uh, the uh, live BBC do it, and obviously uh, no problem, any of your legs in media do it anyway. But uh, I thought I'd do a video, because obviously, you know, this is going to like basically based upon the fact that obviously a few things I've, I've come a cropper with in life. First of all, a, a can of sort code. Uh, one thing I don't get is when you're born, why you don't get an account of sort code for life. I don't see why that has to be linked to a Pacific Bank. So, uh, for instance, if I'm born and uh, I should be going down the road with two accounts, I should go for one for business and one for personal. Those two accounts should be basically what I should get anyway as, as being human. So, uh, first of all, I have a name. So, my name's obviously Mike. I obviously use that as my, uh, obviously, my name's pay. And I should have a Canon sort code. And those those details should be what I should have as default. So, it means that obviously throughout the whole of my life, I should never have to change my bank. I should be able to have the same bank, but obviously be able to change between banks. So um, if I was to move, for instance, if I was to move from, let's say, Santander to uh, Santander to uh, obviously Halifax, then uh, really what I should be able to do is to be able to uh, obviously do a transformation, which is basically very similar to a mobile phone, really. But uh, I still keep the same number for my mobile phone, but I can then transfer between one bank to the second bank. And that's how I, should, that's how I think it should be. I don't believe that uh, account number and sort codes should be the way forward. Um, to uh, obviously, well, you're with us, so you can't move with us because they need to tell every single person that uh, has to pay you. It's weird. So I think that's where cryptocurrencies have come involved now because obviously with crypto, you have two accounts. You have obviously, my mentality with crypto is you have your, your wallet. Now, uh, obviously what a lot of people don't realize with wallets is the fact that wallets can be seen by anybody as well. So for instance, like, if you want to see how much money I've got in my wallet, you can easily look at my wallet and check my wallet and say, right, well, this is how much money is in there right, right now, and this is also the amount of money that's actually, you know, what he's had in there. Well, these are all the trans, these are all the transactions he's ever, that he's ever had. So what I tend to do is I tend to have two. So I have two, two Boku cool wallets. One I give out, and one I don't give out. So uh, that's what I always do. And obviously everything can be traced, um, but obviously you basically put that sort of level of, of protection in place. Uh, if you wanted to track my other Bitcoin wallets, you personally could. Uh, it's open on the public, 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 public domain, really. But uh, it's regardless. At the end of the day, it's, it's about protecting yourself and things. So that's what I do. I tend to make sure I to go down, down the putting in a quite, quite, a, quite, a, quite a, you know, complex uh, a route to uh, people that might not bother to even decide to go down, 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 you know, down, down the uh, investigating. That's one thing. Uh, what I don't get. Also, as well as I don't get, I know an address. When you're born, you should get like remote addresses. Whereby I have my own remote address. So uh, if anybody wants to send me a letter, it can be sent via my remote remote address. I don't see the point of having fixed addresses these days, because everybody's always is on the move. Everyone's always working. Everyone's always interacting. Even when you actually have a fixed house address, you know, you go up in the morning, you go to work, you then get up. You're dealing with obviously the kids. You don't really think about the post, do you? You like make sure you try and get them out of school, fed and watered out of school, etc. And then when you actually get actually get out there, you need to work on things. You know, the last thing you'll do is come back into the house and then get like a list of stacks of paper, like you know, brown envelopes, white envelopes. It's so like depressing. So my mentality is just scrap all that. That's old school. Obviously, they won't scrap it because it's the Royal Mail, and the Royal Mail is government based, and that's how them, that's how they made their money. Um, but it's a form of tax, really. But uh, if you think about it, if somebody will came out and created this app, which, uh, oh, I think somebody has created an app, um, having a remote address, I mean, that will then allow everybody to get hold of their post um, via a remote address. Obviously, there will be that, that filter through um, from old to new technology, um, but eventually, it will just be like everyone gets their, their, own, their own remote address. So, uh, yeah. 
crypto is a crypto app whereby you get two points of contact and it basically means that uh, going forward um, that wherever you go you're going to get, get get your post so uh, yeah i think it's, a, it's definitely a way forward definitely the, the way forward in life these are these are things that i that i sit down and think about on a daily basis i think how have i become a property in this world as well first of all i've moved a lot of houses so straight away how many ccjs have i actually got how many have i actually received and the main thing is it's more like traffic it's more like parking fines like if you don't know that if you don't know you got a parking fine then suddenly you move house and it comes three weeks later then you know you you weren't aware of that and the next minute all you are aware about it is is you've got got a ccj against you that's a parking fine that parking fine's then crippled you for the rest of your life just because of oh first of all you moved your house you didn't realize and now you got a parking fine so uh, it's one of the reasons why i don't drive these days because you physically can't drive in the uk without getting fined Clearly you can't do it. You could say, Mike, you're over-exaggerating there, but the amount of miles that I was doing compared to the amount of miles I'm not doing now, you can't physically do it. So this is one of the things that I've realized uh, very quickly. I was kind of like, okay, right, mileage for me is not needed now. So um, I'll just let everybody else use their mileage. Let them all get the parking fines. And uh, I'll just basically pay a fee per trip. And I've streamlined my life. You know, I don't obviously have posts coming through the door now, which are necessary posts coming through the door. I'm not getting any fines coming through the door. I'm not getting any like insurance pay because insurance again is a scam. Um, especially with the all the private parties I've done to insurance companies. So yeah, no insurance coming down. Uh, I don't pay road tax, which is one thing I don't pay road tax. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of things that I've obviously screwed myself down in there, which allows me to uh, be free. It means it allows me to be free. You could say to me, Mike, do you drive? And I say, yeah, I can drive, but do I want to drive? And uh, yeah, I do drive, but just I just hire a car. Not my insurance, not my car, and guess what? I pick it up and use it, and I put it back down again. So it's kind of basic, like play. It's like a play toy, really. So uh, that's how I uh, adapted into my life very quickly. And I, I think for me, it's, it's it's changed my mindset in a lot of things. Really, it's it's allowed me to think straight. It's allowed me to concentrate on what I need to do in life. It's also allowed me to uh, focus upon the fact that I don't get angry and aggressive with people now because what's the point? And the uh, yeah, and the reason is, is is there's no point. Like life's too short. When you actually look at life, life being life it is today, life is hard. And I think we make it hard as humans. We make life hard for ourselves. So by streamlining ourselves back to practical zero, which I think a lot of people have said, you know, people have said to me, you know, Mike, um, yeah, one day you'll own nothing and uh, you'll be happy. It's not about owning nothing and be happy. It's about having the less stress in your life. You know, you come into this world with nothing, and you're gonna leave this world with nothing. So actually, what's the point of having anything anyway? So uh, it's a very good, uh, it's a very good, good termination of technology. You know, to, to using that, that that term really. Um, obviously, with the use of technology now, you can make money on the road. You don't actually need to be in a, in a certain location. And even for me now, you know, I'm just away. I could do this every single day of the week. You know, I did actually have my uh, eyes set up on a big project, uh, which again is uh, obviously what I want to I want to you know achieve really. What you find is just the local humans in that area don't won't allow it, and when they say they won't allow it, they they, they take upon the opportunity to uh, try and be unfair to you and down the using the criminal route um, of uh, yeah stealing, robbing, vandalizing. Which is fine, I get it, but uh, unfortunately, they know for a while that the police these days can't touch him. So, what's the point? So, uh, I obviously, you know, just take a bit of a step back, step a bit, and thought, you know what, let me prove a point to people. Let me go down the route of actually spending a bit of time away. And I have. I've spent a lot of time away. People have really started to understand who I am as a human, and they realized that actually, Mike, you know what, fair play. Maybe we should just give you the time now to go down the route of doing what you set out to do in the first place. And that's my mentality. I really want to accelerate, you know, accelerate really on what I want to achieve. So, uh, sometimes in life, if you want something right now this minute, you don't always get it. The one thing I will say is this, if you persistently drive towards that end goal, and if, you know, let's say it's like a path, it's like a tree, um, you start where the trunk is, and you, you know, your life might go down different paths. But uh, my mentality is this, those paths, those paths and twigs are always into you know integrating across at some point. So uh, yeah, my, my mentality is is uh, yeah we uh, we're going down this path. We might have to go down different branches, but at some point we're going to find out the two branches are going to come back into a line again. And you find out all that with relationships. Um, I find that with relationships now. 
people that I've met back in the day, like three or four years ago, even like six years, so over, over 10 years ago, people I met in 10 years ago, it's interesting the amount of people that actually get in touch with you and actually interact with you, um, like several years on down the line. And uh, even down to back to my school days, you know, college days, even my work day, working days. And now it's just to realize that actually, you know what? I'm bored. I'm bored of all that now. I'm bored of all the all the uh, all the working. I'm bored of all the mentality of like going out there and working hard. And I've done it. For, I've done it for thirty years of my life, basically, since I've been born. I've done it for thirty years of my life. And uh, yeah, I just have this mentality now whereby, you know, after lockdown, uh, well, after lockdown happens, it's one of those things that I realised actually, you know what? I need to have a change of plan, really. I need to have a change of dynamics. So we're. Uh, that's my plan. My plan is to uh, change things and uh, to try forward and basically work remotely. So uh, but anyway, it is what it, what it is. It's, it's about driving forward. So yeah. So today, this is the plan of attack today. I'm just literally uh, obviously have my uh, morning uh, coffee, my morning drink, and uh, yeah, I'm just content. I'm just content. So. Yeah, pretty